just use Winderstat out of my entire life with computers. I've seen this as the biggest problem people face, and it's when they fill up their SSD or hard drive with junk. Normally, it's things like cache or unnecessary files or very uncompressed video, but basically my point is, is that you should be cleaning this up, and Winderstat helps you do exactly that. Winderstat is a program that you just click on your drive, it scans it, and it gives you statistics on all the files in it. It also gives you this useful tree so you can track where the biggest folders are. It's really useful for identifying outliers and what takes up the most space on your computer. And this little square diagram where every square is a file is very, very useful. Computers should be respected, and they should also respect you back. Now obviously, if you use proprietary software like Windows, for example, or, you know, Mac OS as well, then the computer does not respect you back, because those do not respect your privacy and you do not respect your freedom. However, if you do use Windows or Mac for some reason, you should still at least respect your computer. And one way to do this is to keep it organized and clean. You have no idea how many times somebody wants to try out a Linux distro or like dual boot something and then they come to me with an oh no my drive is full I cannot dual boot now and my only reaction is why is it full? Being completely honest if you use bloated programs like Adobe stuff and all these things I don't think a Windows 10 installation should ever get bigger than I don't know 70 gigabytes like seriously there's no reason why it should be that big. The the problem is when people start storing games on small drives because games are getting larger and larger for some reason. Just clean your drive. Now you're probably wondering, why am I recommending Winderstat? I mean, it's only available for Windows. And the thing is, if you're on Linux, then chances are this isn't exactly a big problem because Linux distributions are normally far less bloated than Windows. There's also programs like FileLite which make this whole process much easier. And also, if you're on Mac, why? You do know that your computer is a computer and you can still install a different operating system if you want. Like there's literally no rational reason to use Mac OS. Don't come to me with it's more stable or it's more secure. That's just because you're comparing it to Windows. Linux distributions are infinitely more secure and more stable. You're just lazy and don't want to switch operating systems. Now I can understand you using Windows 10 if you need to run proprietary software and such. It's great for that. It's also great for relaying information back to Microsoft and also great for auto automatically updating when you don't want it to. But I don't really blame people for using it if they need certain proprietary software. So if you are using Windows 10, then please keep your drive clean. And to do that, you should just use Winderstat. This video was surprisingly not brought to you by me ranting about Macs for most of the time. Although in all seriousness, please do use Winderstat, it's really good, and please keep your drives clean.